It's Feedback Gaming! Welcome back to my playthrough of Fascist Italy. The last episode, we finally kicked the Allies out of mainland Europe. And the only bastion in the continent of Africa is here. They made an initial push, but I don't think they lack divisions in the south. And we're hitting their convoys extremely hard in the, uh, what do you call this? The... Western Africa, I would say. Western African Sea. I'm not actually too sure. What does it actually say? Ah, the Gulf of Guinea. Okay, in the Gulf of Guinea, we're hitting their convoys extremely hard. Um, so I think the most part, any offensive they do make here is going to be pretty weak. Um, we're trying our absolute best to regain all our supplies so we can mount another offensive and... It becomes, it's becoming closer and closer that the Soviet Union and Germany are going to go to war. But when will that happen? I have no idea. In the meantime, Soviet Union is kicking into Iran, Iraq, and Turkey. They managed to take Turkey and Iraq. Not having as much luck with Iran, though. Japan hasn't done a lot in there in a while as well. Not attacked Indonesia and hasn't attacked the Philippines either. Looks like a bit of a stalemate there. So... It doesn't look like it's up to me to make a landing. The plan is to take over South Africa and then try and make an amphibious landing towards France. Um, and maybe take a few of these islands as well. Maybe push into Saudi Arabia as well. My initial plan was also to push into Iran and then push into British Raj. But I don't think that's going to be an option now. Being the fact that the Soviet Union is kind of in the way. And I feel like the Soviet Union, there is a war between us and the Soviet Union on the horizon. Because we have joined the Axis question is though how long is it going to be until we've got an air force that's going to be able to take on the royal air force with their almost six thousand planes it's going to be a very very long time we are producing five, almost five planes a day now and we currently have in reserve 600 okay so we're actually making some reasonable progress on the uh the airplane gains um Still, we are severely behind on guns, supplies, and trucks as well. We are making progress, and we have prioritized all our supplies for Africa as well. Okay. So, for now, I think we're just going to sit tight. I think at the moment, I think pushing here is going to be a bit of a bad idea. I think we're going to let them push into us. We have prioritized supplies here. But they're still really far behind. 161 men behind. These are hills, plains, plains, forest. This is good lands for us to hold. Marsh. That's going to affect our supplies, that isn't it? No, nope, that's good. We've actually improved the supplies in this area as well. Um, Aircraft-wise... How's the air war going on here? So far, very, very little has happened. There's been a few conflicts, but I think the naval, the air bases are too far away from each other. Okay, finally, the last research. In-depth infiltration gives an extra recon bonus, which we'll definitely use. Plus, the reinforces are going to be pretty useful as well. Excavation 5 has been complete. I think we've pretty much completed our industry tier as well now. Okay, are we ready to beeline towards some of the higher techs? I think. I think we don't need anything else, to be fair. I actually want to start researching atomic research. It might be good to make some um, atom bombs when we do get the chance. It's a very long time away, though. We'll start researching now, better now than never. We're trying to hold down the resistance as well. A little bit of resistance here. Maybe we can take care of that now. Uh, where is it? So, garrison is going to be V. So, these three provinces here. No. Ooh. Left click to add state. There we go. We're going to ship a few of our divisions off back towards home. Okay, and they're trying to make an amphibious landing here. 
Oh, looks like our submarines are engaging them. One of them is taking a hit. Another amphibious landing in the Mediterranean as well. And it looks like our destroyers are engaging them as well. I knew there were quite a few submarines in this area. That's why I've detached some of my destroyers. How are the resistance going? They are reducing, reduced massively. We're still working on bringing resources over, so that's going to take a little while. I guess the next step could be I could invade Greece. I want to hold back on that, you know, because I'm still playing recovery. The front in Europe was just so deadly, and it took out such a huge number of our supplies that I'm still playing catch up when it comes down to aircraft production, as well as a lot of other things as well. We lost two convoys there. Okay, we're engaging the destroyers again. Lost. Ah, they're losing submarines. Okay, we are making some headway here. Another two submarines down. Looks like they're mainly based here, the submarines. This is where we might be shipping our convoys from Italy. Iran has been puppeted. So we now have three Soviet puppets boring us. That is a, a slight concern. Definitely when war kicks off as well. So, it is a massive stalemate right now. The common turn is pretty strong, but not engaging any of the allies um, or the Axis. And the Axis are, have a very good control over, uh, over mainland Europe. A, little, a few skirmishes happening in Copenhagen. Nothing massive to worry about. Still got a few neutral countries as well. Is it ever going to be worthwhile to take on Portugal? I don't think it really is. Have they got any supplies? No. The terrain is worth absolutely nothing. Portugal there. Now I've got quite a lot of Tugston. In fact, a huge amount of Tugston. But then again, do I really want to waste time engaging them? I don't even need that much Tugston. Engaging some convoys. Took them all out. I think they're going to have massive supply issues here. They are 21% attrition. Are we ready for an attack yet? Friendly air support apart from that though. 300 fighters. I'm ready to engage here. Can we attack here? Pushing into us and failed. We're all ready to attack as well. What are we lacking? We're lacking some support equipment, infantry equipment, motorized and towed tanks. Our, uh, our supply situation is nowhere near as bad as it once was. But still, we, uh, we still need more supplies. We've got a damage factory. Where is that? The damage factory is in Provence. And I bet that is due to resistance as well. It is, but we'll, we'll work on repairing that momentarily. Okay, not a lot happening here, but I, I feel a lot more confident when it comes down to our divisions. Producing five fighters a day, we've maxed it out. Pax Americana, looking to the conflicts of the continents. Franklin Delando Roosevelt has announced a new foreign policy program intended to keep the peace at home. Okay, it looks to me like some of the uh, South American countries might start joining the Allies. But not quite yet. Okay, I'm really desperately wanting to make an offensive now. Let's do it. Okay, green bubbles. That's what I like to see. And they are pushing in ever so slowly. Oh, what's going on here? I thought we won these battles. Why aren't they pushing in? Oh, they are. They're running away. Okay. So far, so good. He's showing it's risky now. 
still dividing. Position division's not in position. Engaging those submarines again. I managed to sink one of them. Nice. Sunk those Irish. Now where are the Irish sending their troops? Hmm, interesting. Okay, rocket engines gonna be awesome. What did we just research just then? What did we just research? Oh, it was the destroyer, wasn't it? So we've got level four destroyers now. Should we work on getting a better aircraft carriers? No, that's not gonna be worthwhile. Better amphibious assault is gonna be useful though. Okay, let's get the new destroyers. Oh, we're not actually making destroyers. Interesting. Okay, let's just say we'll make four of them. Five of them. And we'll add those on to our raiders. Raiders? No. Raiders 2? Raiders 2 is our... No, we should give this a different name. It's not Raiders 2. Um... Escorts. Hehe. <laughs> And we'll make five. Let's actually, no, let's say six. Six escorts. Producing one a month. Nice. We need more oil. We could probably take another oil refinery. Have we got anyone that are damaged? Not really, no. Okay. Did we actually? I think we did produce loads more. Um, how many civilian factories we've we got now? We've got 30. I think we still need to start producing more military factories. We need them desperately. Uh, make the naval port. Oh, I've just realized these are actually the naval dockyards and these are just naval ports. Oh, I don't care for the naval dock ports. Okay, that's good. Okay, they want to send us two divisions. We don't really care for that. Okay, it looks like it's become a stalemate again. We push those divisions in here. If we can break out from these four, three or four provinces here, we'll, um, we'll thin them out. So we'll be able to push in all directions then. Maxed out the production, so we've got 146 weapons a day. We're going to be catching up on that now, so that's going to be that's going to be perfect. How many provinces is it? So it's one, two, three. It is four divisions. These are going to be hard to push into, though. Okay, we're pushing in here. Eight divisions here now. Nine, ten divisions. Awesome. Okay, they've got more division day than I realize. How many is it showing in total? Four, two, eight, ten. About 20 divisions. So we're kind of fighting one for one here because we've got 24 divisions. Okay, we are producing fires now, which is really good. Okay, finally, we're going to be catched up on our infantry equipment. That's going to be really great. That means our divisions are now going to be fully equipped for any combat they might face. Okay, so that initial attack has made very little gains. We gained these pro three provinces and this one here. The next best step is probably going to be to try and cut in between these three. There's three lots of planes here, so... Why are these guys holding out here? Can they attack from that little narrow avenue? Landing craft level three. Can we go for submarines? Oh, uh, no, we're not going to do that. I think we maxed out on our navy. I think we can stop worrying about the navy. Uh, go for extra mountain divisions. Yeah, why not? I feel like I can pull away from that. I don't want to fight them there. Okay, seven divisions. Any attrition? No. 
sinking a lot of Irish convoys. My only conclusion is they've sent loads of divisions, Irish divisions, to Indonesia and maybe into, into uh, British India as well. That's how they're fighting and that's why, the reason why so many convoys are going that direction. Okay, so I want to push in here. I want to try and encircle these two divisions. I don't. It's going to be hard because there's actually three divisions around this area as well. But I don't want to engage these areas anyway. So I'm going to be both while pushing in this way. This is going to be a, a sound strategy. Oh, wow, that wasn't easy. I'm going to wait from their assault and I'll push in here. It'd be nice if you could queue up orders. That would be really nice. Push in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, jet engines. Now that researched a lot quicker than I thought it would. And do we go for radar? God, it's going to be worthwhile, isn't it? It's kind of a shame that radar doesn't also boost radar on your ships as well, because that would give you more incentive to go for that. Expedition forces. No, we don't need those. Okay, so what did we just upgrade? We went for... Oh, wait, so we can actually go for jet planes now. So 1945 jet. How's our air going? Oh, we're still really fine. Behind on air experience. Mm, okay, we're going to do that anyway. I've got a feeling, you know, these guys can attack into here, you know. How long are they going to be until they arrive? Oh, nice. The new modern tank. Okay. I feel like I just want to go for the tank. Soft attack 33, hard attack 32. Let's do it. Let's do it. So let's make the new... Modern tank. We're going to use all our experience. Main gun gives it more hard attack. And we also max out the reliability as well. Reliability is now 104%. More speed, no need. Okay, so we've got less speed, which I don't care for. Extra soft attack, extra hard attack, more armor. Okay, less armor, less armor. Boom, done. Okay, Mark II modern tank. Is what we want. And I feel like we can take off a huge amount of those now as well. We don't need as many. Let's just reorganize our divisions. Okay, then we go for armored. Modern tank. Modern tank. Modern tank. Modern tank. Awesome. Do we need any extras on that? No. Oh, they've actually filled out the medium tanks now as well. How many actually medium tanks do we need? We've got 325 of those in stock. Okay, who cares? We are pushing in there. We can push in there too. Push in there too. Excellent. We're not going to encircle any, but... How long until they arrive? They've arrived. Looks like there's only one division to fight here. It's not as much as a gains as I would like. No, oh, no, no, no. I thought there was an empty province there. I wanted to squeeze in. No, no, okay. Uh, what's going on? Extra research. What did we just finish? Oh, we finished the modern tank, didn't we? Um, hmm. What do I want to do next? It's getting to the stage now that we don't actually need the extra research, so maybe I'll go for strategic bombers. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm going to leave an empty gap there. Why not? Any kind of air combat here at the moment? I mean, we've lost. They've lost eight fighters. We've lost four. That's good. Oh, well, they managed to take a province back. Why are we... Oh, it's because there's... Ah, oh, there's a narrow front there. I never spotted that. OK, 
Okay, push all the way to the sea. Oh, they're actually retreating into hostile territory. Okay. Why not? Why not? If we can get an encirclement here, that'll be really good. That is the plan, Batman. We got it. Awesome, and then push in from there. Got him. Are they going to try and squeeze his division in there? I don't want to want them to. Yeah, they're moving back. Okay, squeeze in there. Oh, there's an empty province there. I think I'll take it. Okay, move those around. Oh, no, can't push in there. Ooh, the defensive bonus is huge. Okay, that was not worthwhile. We can move in there. I just want to try and get an encirclement, that's all I want. Bulgaria's joined the Axis. About time. Okay, push in there. Get that South African division taking it. Got it. Oh no, seriously? Are we pushing in here? Try and take them from two different angles. That way we get a, a slight attack bonus. Okay, I really want to push into these ones. Oh, there's a river there, though. Okay, we lost... Uh, they lost a submarine. Oh, wow, there's an amount of Irish convoys we're sinking. Okay, our armor division now feels pretty robust. All right, wow, we're, we're even on top of our supply equipment now as well. Okay, we're gonna move this to the top because we definitely need to. I think it's because we've got so many factories now, we've converted so many. How about resources? It's running a little bit behind on oil. I can live with that. We able to produce our Yes we are. One, two, three, four. Okay, are we behind on supplies now? No, we're okay. We're actually fulfilling all our needs as well for machine guns. I don't want to take that off because I feel like we're always gonna need those. Same with supply equipment as well. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna slow down my production. We're almost there. Do we need that on that front? No. It says at the moment that the divisions are still preparing. Okay, what would be really nice is if we can move the naval base a little bit further forward. Here, that would give us 200. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we want to avoid fighting on this right side. Aha, there's some uh, there's some Irish divisions here. These are the ones that probably get requiring the convoys. Okay, we've completed our tier now on Grand Battle Plan. Okay, what do we, where do we advance into now? I feel like I want to go for Mechanized, you know. We can put one Mechanized division on our tank divisions just to give them more HP. Lost a submarine. Are we at war with... 
No, they're still neutral. He's a lot more confident now. He doesn't say it's risky. Well, it is risky, but it's not impossible. Nine divisions in the hills. I really don't want to engage that. Okay, so their efficiency should be better now. Yeah, their efficiency is 50%. The close air support is only 14%. Okay, go for the next mountain once. Why not? So there's supplies just behind on oil again. Where are we using the oil? The oil is used. And it doesn't actually say I'm behind on oil. What do I need the oil for? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Missing equipment for close air support, naval, bomber, and tactical bomber. I can live with that. We want to use our factories in the right areas. Okay, so we have a little extra to work with now. Where do we want to prioritize our supplies? We don't need maintenance, no. Mm, I feel like I want to get rid of the mountain divisions, you know. Do I even need them anymore? Don't think I do. Why not? Let's pick an offensive. I could probably organize this assault myself better now I think about it. If I push into the division, the areas that need them the most. A little bit of success in the middle, but that's it. Why are these divisions holding back? Oh, there's a supply problem down here. That's the reason why. They're holding back some divisions because they know there's going to be supply issues. Okay, okay. I tell a lie. We're actually making some gains. We are making a slight push towards Pretoria. Oh. Losing ground and gaining ground. Probably should push into them here. Oh wow. Okay, some wins and some gains. L losses and gains. We lost our divisions? I don't think we have. Okay, this is risky, you know. Okay, I think we might have to call this off. One division's behind. The assault on the right side is doing exceptionally well, but the one on the left is failing miserably. Yep, they've encircled our forces as well. Oh no, maybe not. We should be able to pull out from here. Okay. How is everything working in Europe? Everything's looking good. I think we desperately need to take South Africa though. Our uh, supplies as well. Our supplies are way better. Just lacking a little bit of anti-tank. Oh, we've even filled our motorized now as well. Okay, brilliant. Are these are getting supplied. No. Okay, where are we losing supplies here? Should probably get some more, shouldn't we? Yeah, we have to connect these up. See if we can... Uh... Yep. And these are the priorities right now. We lost some divisions. No, they've managed to pull out. Okay, hold back the offensive. Oh, where the hell are these guys going? Here? I'm just holding back on chromium. Is that because we're producing tanks? I think it is. You can get some of them from... How about tungsten? We don't need that anymore. Oil wise, we don't need as much oil as we once did. Hitting those convoys hard again. Q. 
Okay, making some progress. Am I trying to do another landing here? I don't think so. Okay, I've just realized that we can assign our military police now. So, military police into this division, isn't it? Okay, we're going to make these guys red. Red? No, blue for the police. We're going to call these the police. Police. And the blue ones. Brilliant. Okay, we need to assign this to a field marshal now I thought about it. We'll select this guy. He's an old guard, but it doesn't matter. Actually, what we could do is promote this guy, couldn't we? Um, where is he? He doesn't lose anything, does he? Because he's only level 1 anyway. Yeah, why not? Okay, that's our new... Oh, that's the strategic bomber, isn't it? Okay, we don't need to worry about that. We'll keep researching strategic bombers, though. You should be able to, like, beeline to the higher techs if you're really behind anyway. I don't want anyone to attack right now. Just hold ground. I want everyone to plan up, then we'll, uh, we'll organize another, another offensive. We have made some gains, though, because officially we were here, weren't we? These three provinces. So we are making some gains. They're just very slow. Okay, I think we should probably upgrade that naval base again. I think it adds an extra 200 every time, doesn't it? Okay, add another lot of fires. Into this area, air superiority. Awesome. Have they got any bombers in this area? They've got no nothing in this area, so we have complete air superiority. Why? I wonder why there's like so many divisions holding behind. Do we beeline to the next airplane tech? Why not? 1950. It'll take a thousand days. It doesn't matter. We'll do it. Okay. So we want to replace these now with our new airplanes. Um, how much air tech have we got? Okay, this is giving extra air weapons. This will hold back the reliability by 40%. Reliability, we want it close to 100. So we're just going for a max reliability jet aircraft. Why not? Needs more Tugston. We'll get that from Portugal. We just seem to be like getting engaged in different areas there, don't we? Why are they holding? They seem to be positioning them really far back, and I'm not sure why they're doing that. Maybe because there's an issue with supplies. Oh, balls to it. Let's just push in. Oh, we don't need that many divisions. Okay, I really want to encircle these ones here. That is the plan. Okay. Attack here. Take Pretoria. Oh, we're not winning now. Oh, it's because they're engaging us from two er different areas. Okay. How many have they got here? Okay, well, that was easy. I managed to run them back pretty quick there. Oh my goodness. Our general is like way better than them as well. We just seem to be like 
I don't know. It feels like the organization is really bad. Wow. Took out so many. So, so, so many Irish convoys. Oh my god, have we lost the aircraft because they were based here? No, we've not. Where have they gone? Where are they the based? Oh, they're based in this area now, okay. And we've not actually got anyone defending this either. Well, it's actually kind of cute that they actually automatically move out of the way. That's pretty cool. We don't have to worry about them then. And we're going to have to actually... Oh, it feels like to me we're going to have to commit more troops into this area. That's such a pain. I don't like the way the AI is like maneuvering divisions in different areas in this. We do seem to be winning the majority of the fights, but I don't just don't like how the AI seems to leave certain areas like really exposed. Oh shit, no, no, don't do that. Okay, we're having supply issues again. Down here. Maybe that's the reason. Oh, it's because they've been surrounded. That's the reason why. Okay, I feel like we're going to have to dedicate a few more divisions down here. Ah, uh, I really didn't want to do that. Oh, the resistance is getting pretty high. Hmm. Imagine if we could move our tank division down now. And they would completely sweep up. And they're almost fully supplied as well now. Just need more modern tanks. If we had more bombers here, you know, we could probably do a lot of damage to them. Fighters, fighters, fighters. Wow, what they hold they're holding ground really well. How many divisions have they got? Just one division. We've got a lot of hard attack as well. Okay, do you know what? Why not? Let's just let's just do exactly what I was planned to do. Let's move our, our tank division down. Let's just see how great our tank division actually is. I'm actually kind of excited to see how well this goes down. Okay, let's railroad, boys. Is the nearest naval base is here. Wait for them to all move down. All right, boys. These are our pride and joys. These are our our best tank divisions. Let's see how well they perform. We'll land these tanks down, then we'll end this one here. Some of them are really low skill level as well. We need to improve that. We'll work on that in a little while. Now the biggest problem here is going to be, as I thought, supplies. So where are the supplies coming from? Oh, well, my goodness, they are really coming from far. And they're coming all the way from here. <laughs> okay. All right, okay, well, uh, looks like that's our next priority anyway. My biggest issue is going to be if they get engaged in some combat somewhere. I don't think they will, but... 
when are they going to arrive? Does it say when? Doesn't say. Still low, but on chromium. Where am I using all the chromium? Let's have a look. Chromium is being used for. I'm not sure. Oh, it's used for the battleship. Okay. Okay, we probably should change the rules to go for convoy escort in this area now. Convoy escort here. <clears throat> okay, mechanized, mechanized too. So what is actually improving when you improve the mechanized? Increase breakthrough, increases defense, soft attack and hardness. Increases soft and hard attack, okay. I've always wanted to like make a division just full, make just like a full division of um, of just tanks, nothing else, and just see what happens. Uh, not tanks, just uh, all mechanized. Like ignore tanks and just go for a completely mechanized army, and just see how well it performs. That'd be really interesting to see what it'd be like. Okay, so whereabouts are we lacking? I'll be honest with you, it's all down the center, isn't it? We take out those three ports. Actually, can we make that a little bit smaller, can't we? Um, there we go. Just those two ports. If we take out the two ports, then we can severely limit their supplies. Go for this one. Yeah, it's at night attack too. Okay, I feel like I want to keep an eye on Europe as well. I'm really scared if they're doing another landing, but I don't think they will because, in all fairness, we've with massively limited amount of divisions they've got in total with them when we push them back. Atomic research, nuclear reactors, brilliant. Okay, we're gonna have some massive supply issues down here now, I know we are. Let's have a look. Oh, actually, not looking too bad. If we can make the offensive pretty quick, then uh, we'll be okay. Well, they're moving pretty slow. Railroad boys. I don't think they can railroad because the divisions are too small. Okay, I've got a plan. We're going to pull this division out. Oh, no, we can't. What I was thinking of doing is pulling the division up, but I've, I've realized I'm not creating a full front, have I? Hmm, okay. All right, let's just make an attack. What did we just improve then? Oh, we went for strategic bombers, didn't we? So we're going to attack with these guys. And then... We'll also attack with my armor divisions. What's the supplies looking like? Oh, the supplies are okay. Okay, this is pretty much going to end really quickly now. The tank divisions will pierce her in and push in. Take out all these empty territories in the middle. I think usually I won't be able to do this kind of attack, but because I've improved the infrastructure in the middle of Africa, I've actually been able to do that. Because I would usually avoid applying too many divisions in such a small area, but it's actually worked out quite well. Wow, we've got three military factories. What can we make? Uh, dedicate more for planes. Yeah, why not? I'm making a lot of aircraft now. We've played a we've played a massive amount of catch up, and we're doing really well now. Do you know what I'm actually really curious to you know? See how different is the the specs of the two planes. So this one has agility 88 and attack speed 27. 
36. All right, it doesn't have as much agility. Interesting. The speed is so much higher though. Okay. All right, I think we should be able to clear up this area now before we uh We lost here? There's a, quite a few rivers down this area as well. That's interesting. They must have tank divisions on here because it says we can only place one of the two armor divisions. Oh shit, don't do that. Okay, we've got a few empty unoccupied areas. Let's get into them. The last port, last port is here. We'll take this airport. Take those divisions here. And those ones. Yay, at last. Okay. Ooh, it's really hard to attack them into the mountains. There's just small little pockets, but we still can't get in there. This is mountains again. Oh my goodness. It's not as easy as it looks. Can we push in here? No. These are actually pretty strong reinforced divisions. They probably don't have that many. That's why all the divisions they do have are actually pretty, pretty robust. What else do we need? More rubber. Taking out more convoys. That's good. This is our final plan. The final offensive. Can we make it? Oh my goodness! There's only three divisions. Enemy air superiority. It's probably because we're so our, our air force is so far away. It is. Okay, we should be able to get the air offensive back now. Attacking into um, mountains with tanks is just you lose all your benefit. Oh my goodness, we still can't push in there. Scared I'm losing divisions as well. Oh, there we go. That's easy. They're moving in. Hills. Wow. Are they actually getting supplies? Yeah, they are. Okay, convoy reading here. Just do it. Let's get rid of these convoys. The hold command's not working. Hold, hold. Taken out two submarines. We lost a Japanese convoy and a submarine was lost. That's good. I'm worried that we're losing a lot of um, tank divisions. Yeah, we have. 
I'll be honest with you, we can probably get pretty much get rid of these light tanks now. How many light tanks do we need? 2,000. Okay. Oh, it's not 2,000. Two, oh, damn, that's how many we've modern. Okay, let's get rid of the modern tanks, uh, medium tanks. And get a mechanized division there as well. Oh, mechanized division. Two lots of mechanized? Why not? haven't got any mechanized <clears throat> don't need as many trucks now two rows of fighters only one row of those we don't need the medium tanks anymore Probably do another, another row of medium tanks as well. Modern tanks, Mark II. How many trucks have we got? I bet we've got a load of trucks. Here we have 4.2K. Can we organize an offensive here? Yeah, we can. There we go. Only three divisions as well. We put up such a fight. Finally got rid of them. What did we just research? I think it was mechanized again, wasn't it? Yugoslavia joined the Axis. Oh. Wait. Yugoslavia's always been on the Axis. They're still my puppet, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Are there many factories based here? Yes, there's lots of factories. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at what the resistance screen looks like. Yeah, we need to put some troops there. Okay. Garrison here, 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 here. What about this area? No, who cares? Not, if there was a lot of resistance, I only really care if there's a lot of factories, otherwise it's not a lot of point. This is the last stronghold in South Africa. Army Divisions 4. And we've finally taken it on at last. Done at last. South Africa has been taken. There you go, at long last. Wow, this has been a long episode. I didn't really think it would take this long to take this area, but it has. The next step will be to bring these back to Europe. Question is, where are these guys going to be useful? Some of these used to be really high tier, but they've lost. They've had so many losses. Okay, medium requirement. Um, Four bat line, garrison line. Okay, we have fifteen tank divisions. I feel like we want to make some more. No, actually, we don't. We've got. One of those is not ours. So we need six. We need another ten. Ten armor divisions. That's ten, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, well, let me select that. Never mind. Okay. I bet we're going to need a lot of tanks now. Yeah, we are. We need lots of equipment too. 
Okay, how's our supplies looking? We don't need these roads anymore. What have we got here? Convoy sunk. Okay, we can do don't, don't need this convoy anymore. Okay, we can bring these back home now. I wonder if it showed how many convoys these guys had sunk. I bet they've sunk a lot of convoys. They're fully supplied as well. Are we producing the latest aircraft carriers? Yeah, we are. A little bit behind on the carriers, though. Hmm. Okay. Bring the fleet back. I can be based back home here. Oh, I think what's happening is that is they're improving the carry because there's some all out of date ones. Okay, well, that makes sense. Okay, guys, this has been pretty much one of the longest episodes we've done so far, but there's been a lot of progress. At least we've uh, we've got some fully modern tank um, armies now, and with that as well, we've got a, a reasonably good navy as well. Can we try and take on the Royal Air Force? Can we do it? Let's give it a shot. Let's just do that now. Fighter twos. In fact, we've got stacks of a thousand. Two thousand. It's too many, isn't it? Where's the air base? The one here. That's a small air base as well. I have to put it here. This is going to test out how strong our air divisions are. Can we assign a uh, an ace? Yep, why not? Strategic bomber. I'm going to try and do a naval landing. The fools. Taking a long time to deploy. Where's the other naval base here? How many have they got based here? Two thousand, four thousand. Do I really want to engage them? This is going to be an experiment, ladies and gents. How many are we going to lose? Oh my goodness. Let's have a look at the stats here. We've shot down 29, we've lost 39. So we play it more safe. I'll engage in the daytime as well. Night vision level 2, that's what we need. Uh, okay, we need to start working on the next level tiers of uh, equipment. We're losing way more fighters than they are. They've got 8,000. That's so many. We've lost our ace as well. Okay, let's have a look. So they've focused all their air now on the, the British Channel. All of it. We have some jet planes as well, but do we want to engage those? Hmm. How long will these take until they arrive? 8th of April. Okay, I've just forgot we've not we've not started bringing them back, have we? Should start doing that now. It take for absolutely forever for them to bring back from there as well. Um, okay, air divisions combine. We'll say we need a thousand of those.
they've got way better radar efficiency as well so that's a huge that's probably one of the reasons why they're they're they're, they're one over me right now problem is, is we can't tell the germans to build radar bases we haven't got the detection <laughs> we haven't even got the first technology I'm wondering if it's even going to be worthwhile to continue to fight here. No, it's not. Okay. It looks like launching a, an attack on the English Channel is going to be a waste of time. Right, they actually want to build more fighters. Surely jet fighters are going to be better though, aren't they? Than regular fighters. Hmm. All right, guys, that's the end of the episode. Thanks for having to stop by so far. There's been a lot of things that I've learned about Hearts of Iron from this episode. But we can actually say now that Italy, Africa, is fully Italian. What can we do next, though? I think the next step is going to be somehow to launch an attack on the United Kingdom. Problem is, though, is we just don't have a good enough radar. Mm. It doesn't look like Germany's going to give me that. There's going to be somewhere we're going to be able to do this. Alright guys, we have a good day. Bye-bye.